the middle of AMD new RX 650 XD launch, we find another up. So we compare the RX 6750 XD vs RTX 3070. They are more entry-level choices compared to anything higher but still offer great work, both fighting out for the best graphics card for you. The AMD card is a newer launch with it coming out in May 2022 as part of the refresh, whereas the 3070 was part of the original release for NVIDIA's current generation. So it is the older card from October 2020, so the Radeon card comes quite late in the life cycle with something new. Architecture. Being from two different companies, there is no direct comparison of how the two GPU are made, as each utilize different architectures, with NVIDIA having their Ampere build whilst AMD has the RDNA architecture. In particular, the RX 6750 XD utilizes the Navi 22K XD variant. Made with TSMC 7 and process, it creates a 335 GoDi die of 17.2 billion transist, whilst the RTX 3070 is based on the GAM 104 300 GPU variant which in turn is made with Samsung's 8 in process making the die 392 in size with 17.4 billion transistors. GPU core, not a one-to-one -one comparison with their different architectures. Cores are what make up the GPU die itself, each of which is specialized in particular mathematical instructions. In particular, we have the shaders on shadows and lighting. RT cores focused on real-time ray trace and TMU on creating 3D objects from bitmap, all working together to create the final scene. Comparing the two GPU, the 3070 takes the lead in numbers, with double the shaders but only a few more in the others. However, this can be down to different architectures and how they are defined by the companies. This means they aren't going to mean anything to each other. Video memory. Another specification is the VRAM available on the graphic cards, varying in sizer, type, and speed. It is used as a frame buffer and pixel storage, lowering latency between GPU and CPU as well as allowing bigger resolutions to work more smooth. All together give a greater experience. The RX 6750 XD has 12 GB of GDDR6 memory, clocked at 8, which through the 192-bit memory bus gives a bandwidth of 432 GB slash S, whilst Nvidia opts for more throughput, with only 8 GB of GDDR6, and clocked at 4. So with a 256-bit bus, it does offer a better bandwidth of 448 GB slash S, Frequencies. Frequency is the clock or cycle rate of the GP. This means how quickly the silicon crystals can flip in the die. This in turn relates to how fast they can process the instructions going through them to spit out onto your display. It's also a factor capable of being overclocked by the end user of AIB. Again, as previously seen, it's the Radeon card that has the higher rate. The RX 6750 XD has a base clock of 2150 MHz with a boost clock of up to 2600 MHz, whereas the RTX 3070 has a base clock of 1500 MHz with a boost of up to 1725 MHz. So the AMD card will offer faster processing, but it's all for processing. Total design slash board power. The TDP slash TBP is the maximum amount of energy the GPU will consume, showing you how much electricity will be consuming and how hot it could potentially get, as all the usage will convert to waste heat the cooling has to deal with and ends up in your system. In our comparison, the 6750 XD runs 30W higher than the 3070. Our X6750 XD vs RTX 3070 performance. Kit Gear has extensive testing on the RX6750 XD and compared it to similar selection cards. Between the 6750 XD vs 3070, we see them trading blows in various games, whilst the MD card takes the lead in synthetics likely from the VRAM advantage. They both come close to what they offer, tend to be more aimed at 1,400 4 resolutions. Then, if you're a fan of ray tracing, then NVIDIA would be the better option. With its better optimization, it does achieve better frame rates across the board with the option turned on. Price. When it comes to the MSRP of the two choices, the 3070 is set lower, with a price of $499, whilst the 6750 XD asks for $549. So it is a $50 higher asking pricing for the Radeon card, and the GPU market has been returning to normal with cards close to MSRP so you should be able to get them close to it. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.